Hello everybody, so today is the new moon, the new moon in Aries and I haven't filmed many of the places that I've been this time in the lakes apart from Castle Rig because I just wanted to explore that myself but here I had to do a video I'm in, back in Silverdale and I found, I've been wanting to explore this footpath for a long time uh, since my first adventure here and what I found is like a, I don't know, more like a pond here, like a man-made pond with the rocks all around it, it's filled with water and the water is coming from what I think is a sacred well of some sort and it's and it's very big so it starts from here well it doesn't start from here it's like it's all it's just all around this area but the water is resting inside here from where the, it's coming from where I'll show you soon so it's resting inside this bit this section here these ferns all around all this vegetation which is a sign of the water see so if you see it's running from here into that section of the water there where it rests and it's coming from these rocks and here on this side it looks like a seat like a this actually it looks like it's being carved with the two armrests there and the water is just resting in there and it's actually coming from the middle of this rock and resting inside here and then if you come to this side this water is coming from the top of the rocks pouring down and resting into this body of beautiful, beautiful water which tastes very similar although not quite this, uh, as good as where I get my water from the spring but it's up to different tastes of people uh, what they like but it's beautiful, beautiful stunning water and the whole area here surrounded by rocks is fantastic atmosphere and I was called to this place today just like Castle Rig I just felt this lightness, this I knew there would be something good around this path and I'm going to explore it further up in a minute but it's absolutely beautiful, all of this area and all of this water network system running here and these huge rock faces at the water. I don't know where it comes from, but it doesn't taste like normal stream water or rain water, it tastes more like pure spring water. The forest at the moment are also covered in what I'm eating right now, wild garlic. So this is this plant here, this is the new growth. And it's all of this greenery. Can you see all of that greenery there? This is all wild garlic, so it's covered at this time of year. Then it gets a nice white flower soon to identify a bit better. But this is wild garlic. It tastes really like proper garlic, really spicy. I was just thinking there must be somewhere then where the water goes from here because it's very, very shallow water and the water is constantly gushing in from all sorts of directions. So it must be some sort of place where the water then goes and travels to after, unless it'll just keep rising. So there's quite a few different paths you can take from there. I'm going to head up, up these rocks here on this cliff path. It looks really uh, inviting. So at the moment I'm on top, if you can see down there, where the water was coming from before. So I really don't know where that water, the source of that water is. I really think it's a spring, a big, big spring. So that's just a field there. And I think it very taste, doesn't taste anything like rainwater or stream water. So that's where my senses are telling me. Every time I've been to Silverdale, I always get this, I've always said in my videos, a lovely peaceful uh, feeling, this feeling of utter silence really. It's, I feel like it's a very powerful place and we've got to trust our feelings in different situations with, with interactions with people, uh, where we are, you know, the places that we go to. If we get a certain feeling about it, it's coming from the heart, it's coming from the instinct and the instincts we can use for every situation in life. There are, it's a, a tool that we all have that all we've done is lost connection to and we can always regain connection to these, these instincts. These instincts are feelings that we get in our body that tell us about the outcome of an event, whether we are on the right path, whether we are to approach somebody, an infinite number of things where things called instincts tell us. Going back to the water that I was talking about before, I've done a lot of videos talking about water and all we get now, these days, 
you have to pay £1.50 for a bottle of water. Think about it, I could just fill that up, it takes me two seconds and charge you £1.50. This is ridiculous, people have got to start waking up, we've got to come together to demand basic things such as water for free. And we've got, again, companies like uh, United Utilities, adding all sorts of rubbish to the water that's coming, that should be as pure as what I just showed you. We need to make sure we're planting and looking after the native woodlands. The trees are part of the Celtic tree or ham, such as birch, yew, uh, even holly, they can grow into a nice tree. These are all part of the Celtic tree or ham, the native trees of the British Isles. And we need to, when we plant a tree, even in our garden, we need to really make sure it's part of the 20 odd trees that are part of this tree or ham, this uh, cell we got that to belong to the, you know, native to the country. We don't want to be planting any anything that's not native because the native ones are the good for the wildlife that were, is in this country. If we plant something non-native, it has to adapt and it has to, and a lot of the time it's no good for the wildlife that's already here. So these things grow in certain countries for a reason. There's no good planting, what I've learned, so there's no good planting something like a cordyline or a palm tree in this part, in this part of the country anyway, uh, because it's no good. It's no wonder that all the cord lines were, were died off this year because of the frost, because they're not native, they're not adapted. So that's what we need to uh, make sure you need to work on. And if you cared any little bit about the future generation and the earth, stop using bug killers, stop using weed killers, stop using pesticides, stop using artificial rubbish, stop buying products that are no good for nature and that don't have nature as their, they don't care about nature. So just, uh, it starts with you, everything. If we, if we all as a society just stopped giving money to these corporate entities, they would fade out in a day, in one day, they would fade out. It could happen overnight, but people keep feeding them. They keep buying these products, it's convenient, because it's easy, because they can't be bothered. There's always a natural way instead of the artificial way. And more or less, a natural way is always free. They actually, uh, they need, there's no wonder they need to promote, uh, spend all the money on advertising all of these artificial products because they need that advertising to make you buy it. So they make it look so good when really the natural way, be it food, be it products, be it anything, is right in front of your eyes outside near enough in nature. And nature, everybody. Nature is always abundant. It's always giving. Just look at the endless supply of water coming out here. The endless supply of water coming out of the planet. Look at all the, the endless supply of wild garlic right now. These are just two options, but the point is that nature provides so much more than what it actually than what humanity actually needs. And this is expressing its abundance. And we need to give back to the earth, but give our thanks for all of this abundant produce and water and just the abundant gift life always gives us day by day that we take for granted for at the moment as humanity which is terrible really because we need to give our thanks to the earth and not just the earth is abundant but we as humans are as well we need to have that abundant mindset that anything is possible and that we can literally as long as we stick to our souls and hearts and give to the world we are we are utter, we are free free humans just like the earth expresses its abundance and its purity and its freedom and its love so do we as humans. The earth is constantly speaking to us. Imagine how this rock came about, how old it is, how much wisdom it's held over the years, how much wisdom everything in nature has. It's constantly speaking to us all of the time and it speaks to us in the language of the soul. It doesn't speak to us in the English language. We have to be calm and, and still and get in touch with who we are, which we come from the same thing as the rocks and the trees and the ferns. We need to get in touch with who we are and then we can interpret its wisdom. It's constantly communicating with us all of the time. All, not just the rocks and the, and the trees and nature, but the ancestors in the other worlds and all of the other spirits and all everything, all the other dimensions. The, the inter, the, we, uh, we interpret them. Just look at all of this wild garlic here in Bottoms Wood. It smothers the place, expressing its abundance.
before leaving the uh, huge water network, spring network thing over there, I noticed there was a, a couple of pipes running underground from the seat that I showed you. That seat, that sacred seat. And uh, so it's being harnessed in somewhere. I don't know if it's still being harnessed now. But the point is that I'm trying to make here is that water like that can be harnessed to supply an entire town or an entire city for free. And it, that's what used to happen, even in Penwortham. Little villages like Penwortham, little the cities like Preston, you know, and the surrounding villages, they will all have been provided for by wells and springs. And not just, I'm just that's just an example. The whole country would have been, and the whole world once upon a time. And it needs to be that way again, because these wells and springs are still running. They're just being, they're just being prevented from being used, even in the pretense of, health or um or literally being literally covered over destroyed almost but the spring would still be around somewhere and a lot of the time just uh hidden amongst so much more so we need to as a society somehow come together first of all by spreading this message and we'll be able to use pure primary water spring water from the bottom of the earth to run our, our cities and towns once again. Not just to drink, but to, to have showers for our taps. And we will be able to have free water, free. And not just free, but clean, but pure, magical water. Because we also have no idea the treatment mainstream water goes through in places like United Utilities and the, the treatment that like the chemicals added, like literally, on the way to the lakes in Millenthorpe, there's a paper factory and the water is blue. <laughs> it's blue with the chemicals and on them there's a little plaque and it says the water is then thoroughly cleaned after it, you know, after it's already blue and full of chemicals to make the, whatever they do with the paper. They say, they actually say it is put back into the river and then that river flows and then we end up drinking that water. So there you go. <laughs> That's just proof, and then they hide it in plain sight. Also in uh, things like, oh, don't um, flush other things down the toilet because it could end up in your water supply. So if other things going down the toilet will end up in our water supply, so is the poo and wee that we are putting in the toilet. So he's always in plain sight. I think these are ancient pathways as well. You know, in between these two walls. Walking. Always in the footsteps of our ancestors. Fantastic. Silverdale. So with that message, I'm going to wrap up the video now and just leave with the important message here on the Aries new moon on the 21st of March, a day after the spring equinox. So, it's very muddy here, one second. Uh, yeah, so, the powerful time right now to go after your dreams, to put action into your deepest soul desires and to take the leap of faith in whatever, whatever you're going through in life. Could be anything, but you know, you know what it is in your heart, what it is you want to do, what it is you, who you want to be. So take that leap of faith and allow the energies to help you that's what they're there for they're there to help you evolve and help evolve humanity so have a great day everybody and believe in yourself the greatest time to be alive ever you should be blessed to be alive